everyone was ready to welcome him back. All of Birds Lane in Utoxeter, in fact, wanted to show just how proud they were of the little boy who grew up to be a Commonwealth champion. And we were there live to capture his homecoming. Cut round and see if we can see him coming down the road. Here he is! <laughs> That's a surprise. <laughs> How tired are you? I understand you haven't had much sleep. Yeah, none. Absolutely none. Oh my God, here they are. Yeah. It's really amazing to hear that uh, anthem and uh, it's amazing. I just love my country and uh, yeah, <laughs> I love the, love the crowd and supporters. How hard has it been and has it been worth it? Absolutely. I mean, I'd do it all again. I mean, obviously I've got at least 10 years left in the finger, hopefully without injury and illness, but um, yeah, I'd do it all again at any time for that kind of, that kind of achievement. But uh, yeah, so it all pays off in the end. What does it mean to have him home? Uh, I'm so proud for what he's achieved in Glasgow. Yeah, yeah I want exciting. him home. I yeah. feel as a part of he's been missing. Yeah, it's quiet. Fortnight. Yes, it's very quiet. Right, yeah, yeah. Adam's lived in this house in Birds Lane in Utoxeter all of his 19 years, and neighbours have come here today to welcome him home. But over the years, they've also fundraised thousands of pounds to help him with his training. We've had barbecues, and uh, there's, a, there's a man, and he, he, he has a raffle with the whole street. I'm getting emotional already. He's been absolutely fantastic. Amazing to watch. Just so proud of him. Absolutely fantastic. He's worked so hard for this, and now it's all coming together for him. Good luck to the lad. Brilliant. He may have only had half an hour's sleep last night, but there's a family celebration tonight. And then it's back in the training pool on Friday. Sarah Falkland, BBC Midlands Today, in Utoxeter.